Okay, hey guys, Nick here, and today's rant is going to be about a little bit of a problem that I have, and I've had it for a while, but I'm finally going to acknowledge it in one of my videos. I have a huge spending problem. I think the main reason that I have, I got this spending problem is because I like too many groups. And that's not, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop liking hip hop groups, but I feel like when I just liked Super Junior, BAP, EXO, um, After School, and Infinite, when these groups were younger, it was easy because, you know, there's no Japanese promotions, there's no subgroups, there's no nothing, except for EXO, it's always had multiple albums you've had to buy to get everything. But when Infinite went to Japan, and Super Junior was already in Japan, and the Dong and Inhyuk went to Japan, it just became this whole, like, oh my god, how do I, how do I buy all this stuff? And then, you know, K-pop, it keeps turn, turning out more and more groups every single year, and I fall in love with these groups because I do K-Talks um, occasionally when I remember to do them. And I just like, you know, I fall in love with other groups because I listen to their music. So I have an income, again, which is awesome. I'm just so excited about that. I like to think that I have two levels, or three levels, I guess. I have Infinite, Super Junior, After School at the top, right here, at the top. And then I have, um, I don't know, like BAP... EXO, Bangtan, um, A-Pink, those groups are there. And when I say these groups, I mean they're subgroups too. So, you know, with Super Junior up there, and with After School, there's Orange Caramel, there's uh, Donghan Eunhyuk, there's Super Junior M, there's Henry, there's, I don't know who else has had this whole thing. If anybody, other, any other member has this whole thing, they're up there too. Um, but yeah, they're bunched in with their groups. So, the hardest thing I think is that it seems really simple when I just, you know, have these three things um, and then the next level and then the level after that is just everybody else, I like to think. Um, but sometimes I fall in love with an album and I'm just like, I don't usually buy things from this group but I would really love to support them in this album because it's really good so I want to buy it. So that's kind of the way I think. So currently what's going on, I just bought season two. And I pre-ordered Skeleton for Donghan and Yuck, and Season 2 is for Infinite. And Orange Caramel, I got Catalina. And now GOT7 has their new album, GOT Heart. What else is going on? Um, Infinite are releasing a repack soon, and they are also releasing a Japanese single of Last Romeo. Um, and then, I guess that's what's going on right now. And then there's A-Pink, BNN, um if that ends up releasing an album, but there's also just so many rumors of, I follow um, K-pop artists on Twitter, and so I like see things, like Henry was working on a choreography like last week or something like that, so, and After School is due for a comeback. They haven't had a comeback since First Love, which was last year, so there's that in the back of my mind. And then, um, you know, I'm still missing a couple albums, like I want to get XOM's version of Overdose, and, you know, <laughs> there's just so many things going on, and so many things that could happen. There's groups that, you know, are just, like, planning things, and Super Junior is such a big group that anybody could come out and do something, and Infinite H and Infinite F have, um, have uh, reported albums that they're working on and coming back with soon. And then Sungyu might have another album because, you know, he's Sungyu and he had an album before and it was really good. And of course it's infinite. I'm going to support him. I'm going to buy it. Yeah. As of right now, I don't have that much ordered. I'm really just waiting for Last Romeo Japanese version and then I'm going to get the, uh, the repack and waiting for Skeleton, which is coming out in August. I'm sure there'll be something else that comes out in July that I'll be wanting to buy, but like I said, after school, they're due for a comeback. So you just never know with any of these K-pop groups. You literally never know. Um, and who knows, I might end up really liking Winner and wanting that album. I still want to buy Taehyung's newest album. I want that album so bad. So that's why I have this like big line that's like, between the two layers, which don't buy Japanese albums from anything in the second row, don't buy anything Japanese down there, only for the first three groups, which turns out to be just as hard because I still don't buy after school's Japanese albums when they come out. So yeah, 
Do you guys have this problem or is it just me? I just, I like too many groups. That's my problem. And I just, that's how I got my spending problem. And that's why I'm like, always like, I need, why, why am I not ordering something? Cause I literally always have something that's coming up for pre-order. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys are doing good. <laughs> I, I hope you don't have this problem. I feel like if I wasn't able to buy K-pop albums, my life would be so much easier, but then I wouldn't have K-pop albums and I'd be sad. Um, I don't know what I would spend my money on if I didn't spend it on K-pop albums. Maybe I'd go out more. Let me know if you guys have this problem down below. If any of your, if you have like two major artists and they come back at the same time, I'm afraid this is going to happen that when Super Junior releases Seven Jib, which like, you know, all elves know is a huge, you know, big thing for them because Super Junior and they have version A, version B, version C, repack, you know, Japanese single. So it's a lot of stuff that you need to save up for and I know a lot of elves are already like saving up money for 7 jib and I am too like kind of on the side but at the same time I'm thinking at this rate you know <sighs> I think Infinite H or Infinite F is gonna come back at the same time as Super Junior and then I'm just gonna be like what do I do you know so yeah that's what's going on in my life right now um, and I'm really, really fortunate to have a job. I'm really happy. I don't get that many hours and, you know, I haven't had my first payday yet, which is whatever because I get tips. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope your weekend is awesome. It was 93 degrees here yesterday and I literally was dying. <laughs> I died. Yeah, so I'm going to go now. I will see you guys very, very soon. And I know my most recent video, the ending was a little messed up. It linked to the wrong video. But that was because it didn't publish when I told it to publish. YouTube just decided to be mean to me. So it looks like I published one video after the other one, but I uploaded that one first and I don't know. Okay, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Hey guys, me here. And today is July 1st, which means that it is Canada Day. So happy Canada Day to those of you who live up north. And yeah, I hope you enjoy, enjoy your day off. I don't really know what happens on Canada Day. I feel like it's like the 4th of July in America, but it's just like for Canada. And you guys do Canadian things. I don't know. Anyways, today is the 1st of July.